Good morning, everyone. Strafe Cal. We are playing for a vast future, and we are about ready to head into the spaceship for the second time, technically. Uh, I believe this is going to be endgame at this point. Um, we've unlocked the final weapons. We have very little left in terms of let's see, salary man, lead scientists, weak to explode. Oh, Penton's faster now. Cool. Now, you may be wondering, why are you taking fights? And that is because I had the realization that uh, we are very close to also hitting the final... Uh, crossing the final hurdles on our... Uh, level. So, I wanted to... I do want to make sure that we get all the way up. We've got 30 of these. I was about ready to say I need to make sure I'm not using too many, and uh, no, I think we're good. These woodlands are peaceful and serene, aren't they? You almost forget you're in a spacecraft. We mobbed this area after the lushly forested lands of Tamello, before the war. Most unfortunate what happened. Agent Penton, just as loyal to Tamello as our friend Tarnstrom was to Sorelia. What do you want? I want to make amends. What we did to Tamello was wrong, even if it was in the name of progress. How would you like the chance to recreate Tomello on new worlds far away? We've even brought Tomellan technology and archives with us. You join me, we can bring about a flourishing new Tomello. Deal? No deal. What you helped orchestrate is unforgivable, and no amount of trickery will change that. All I want to do is rid the world of evil Cerulean's like you. Fine to the end, like all Tomellans. You shall suffer the same fate as your comrades. Okay, boss. Oof, that looks nasty. No weaknesses, strong against gun, greatest magic power seen yet. Those guys have been a problem pretty much every time we've run into them. Uh, are these mechs, by the way? Robo guards. Okay, good. Um, I only have one taser left, but let's go ahead. This feels like a good enough time to use it. Almost killed with one shot. to Molotov because I think this should finish both of or finish off the yep so then we're down to just one enemy that was a crit <laughs> That went well, I would say. Not quite. Uh, probably two more fights, it's looking like. That we can max out all of our characters offensively. Welcome to the Biodome's military facility. We have cutting edge military technology refurbished from the war. 
culmination of decades of research, the envy of the world, all within this spacecraft. Mr. Tarnstrom, or should I say Lance Corporal Tarnstrom, you're a decorated veteran and loyal ser servant of Terrelia. I was. How would you like to join my cause? To make Serenalia great again? Mm. And to prosper throughout the cosmos. All this military power at your command. My command? This is your chance to prove your loyalty once again. To achieve ranks you never thought possible. No. Never. Serenalia has deceived and taken advantage of too many people. And I don't want to serve you. You've distorted everything I loved about this country. I should have known you'd gone soft in your old age. Well, I wish... Let's double check. I'm assuming this is weak to electric and taser. Yes. Cool. So yeah, we are out of tasers, which is annoying, but we do have 26 zap grenades left. So let's just go ahead and utilize those. Um... get any additional I don't think we got any additional electric weapons outside of uh, zap and or zap grenades and what's the other one the the taser that's a little surprising to me um I will definitely be talking about this more later um get into the end game like summary stuff on my thoughts but I do want to say like right up front I wish there was more of this game and I don't mean that in a negative way in this case at all it is just a genuine I am enjoying this game immensely and I wish that there was more of it. Um, I wish that there were more options on different item types. Like, there's only one option for doing ice damage. There's only a couple, I think three options for electric. Two or three for fire. But there's like a dozen for explode. And I realize that that's semi-intentional. Like, explodes kind of a more generic damage type. But I really like this game and I want more. <laughs> it is purely selfish and I am accepting this. We've actually scanned these guys. We need to explode. That's what I guessed.
Oh yeah, pods. I literally just talked about those earlier. Can you believe we included Cerulean laboratories on this spacecraft? We can perpetuate our knowledge and technology wherever we go. Once we lift off, dozens of world's leading scientists will be on board to ensure continued success. Speaking of technological marvels, Daris, the crown jewel of the vaunted Palisade program, fully robotic but equipped with superhuman strength and intellect. I accept your compliment. I'll cut to the chase and leave the flattery to the humans. I can give you more than just logic. I can give you compassion, empathy, humanity. I can fill that void and answer those questions you've been asking. Our scientists have perfected an empathy module as advanced as any human. What do you say? I cannot agree. Although I realize that I may never achieve human happiness, I am satisfied with what I am. I cannot be tempted by your offers. Clearly our scientists did not eliminate the flaws from your programming. Courtyard, well-maintained landscape, evocative of summer nights gone by. To me, it recalls childhood nostalgia, feelings of innocence, like only nature can. And it's all here in the vast future. Sweet child, I understand the war robbed you of that childhood innocence, scavenging for scrap, struggling to feed yourself and those smaller children. That's no childhood. But in doing so, you found solace in the material. And that I can offer you. Immeasurable riches beyond your wildest dreams. More money than you could make with a world's worth of scrap. Money? You mean... Yes, in the new world, we'll no longer know the meaning of scarcity, wealth, fortune, fame. These three have taught me the meaning of friendship. I realize now more that it's more important than money or anything else. You can take your wealth and shove it up your... Filthy mouth, child. Classless, as always. I should have known you weren't deserving. Okay... Boom. That was a bad boom. <laughs> there we go. Nope. No explosives uh, triggers off of that. Uh, let's, I don't think we can kill the strong man, and he's going to get to go. So I'm going to kill the salary man just to make sure he doesn't get a, a chance to act and get a smoke effect on strong man. And from here, we can go with bomb um, and turn and finish it off. Scientist, just to avoid status effects. stupid. <laughs> I 
Grab some more remedies, clip. Um, we have been fighting a lot of enemies that are weak to electric, so I'm gonna grab some more zap grenades. Uh, those are one of the easiest things to make because they are just scrap. So I'm okay with definitely okay with investing in them. Uh, smoke bombs. At this point, we're going to be using regular bombs. Let's go ahead and grab some more revives. I mean, we can't take it with us. I don't really feel like it's worth doing more than that right now anyway, even though we can. Like, I suspect this is literally going to be... Oh, okay, it is literally Horizon now. Finally, we meet in person. But it appears so. I've been waiting for this moment. Likewise, you four have caused an awful lot of trouble. Say it's impressive would be an understatement. Our teamwork is unmatched. What you've done is not enough to stop the vast future program. Years of research and hard work shall pay off shortly, regardless of your efforts. For you? What about everyone else, the people of Seralia? Mere casualties for the greater good. Seralia's finest will live on and propagate. It's a harsh reality, but it's one we accepted years ago. How can you sleep at night knowing the destruction you've caused? Be silent, Lance Corporal Tarnstrom. You helped create the, uh, this... You helped create this as a loyal soldier to your country. As for the rest of you, your meddling will cost you dearly. You threatened to take down my empire, my underlings were weak, and you've left me with no choice but to dispose of you myself. I've augmented myself with the greatest technology. I have an entire army at my fingertips. I'm essentially invincible. If you're anything like your generals, we're not afraid of you. Chirk and Oswald, loyal servants, but far inferior to Horizon. You will tremble before my power. Let's do this. HP unknown. Weaknesses none, strengths none. Fear my empire. Come help me. Oh boy. This is gonna be rough, isn't it? <laughs> so we're gonna lead off with this. Um... got this kitchen knife. We got a freebie. That's cool. We only have one. So I was not... Ex okay, it does straight nines every time. That makes sense. get some heals before we get too deep. I I can only heal, you know, that two, 150 to 200 at a time, so I don't want to get over... I don't want to get in over our heads. I'm gonna guess these guys are weak to electric. They are.
I just noticed those guys are called Rocket Man. And I'm amused. Chuck a bio bomb there. See if we can get a poison off. Nope. I think we just keep repeating that. There we go. And I think at this point we're gonna switch over. Let's get some delays. My systems are shutting down. Curse you all. Fast future will survive without me. Quick, stand back. Well, revenge is sweet, but we can't stop now. This thing's still set to blast off. Nicely done, team. Horizon is no more. We have successfully wrested the spaceship from Cerulean control. Horizon's technology was no match for us. Money can't buy everything. What can we do now, though? The super weapon will fire soon. We should hurry and formulate a plan. Indeed, let us gather the scientists and seek their counsel. We should get Joseph to help, too. He designed the super weapon before Horizon and his thugs took it over for evil. I remember Joseph. I had no idea he was alive. Quick, let's go! Why, why would J Maestro know Joseph? Okay. We only have a few days before the weapon fires. There's no stopping it. That is correct. And Vast Future is set to depart in a few days as well. Pending final preparations. Oh my, is this the end for all of us? Nonsense. We can gather everyone in the world onto the ship. That seems implausible. Agreed. It's a long shot, but the ship was designed to be hospitable for tens of thousands of people. Only Horizon intended to limit... Oh, it's a long shot, but the ship was designed to be hospitable for tens of thousands of people. Only Horizon intended to limit its capacity. And it is fully sustainable with numerous ecosystems. Life can carry on and prosper. Vast Future is stocked with a vast array of flora and fauna. What about its trajectory, trajectory post-launch? We do not know. Only Horizon could have known. We have to trust that it's set for a logical course. We don't have many other options at this point. So it's settled. We need to gather as many people on board as possible before launch. But how? have an idea. With time running out, Old Colville Tower gets one last hurrah. This time, the scientists set the tower to full broadcasting strength, sending the border, boarding call distress signal. Australians abandoned their homes, leaving behind the war-torn remnants of a once thriving civilization. Towns and cities become as deserted as the Tamelan wastes. Not everyone feels the same despair. As the countdown closes it to zero, uh, others seem overjoyed. People pack into the repurposed vast future in droves, making the best of Horizon's nefarious clandestine project. The Super Weapons countdown approaches its final digits. So the planet was obliterated. No evidence remained to show that the Golden Hand truly ascended. Vast Future drifted into deep space, set on a course that remains a mystery to this day. <clears throat> Horizon's conspiracy 
effectuated by the corrupt Cerulean government was stopped in the nick of time, an eerie calm pervades the spirits of the survivors. In spite of the uh, faith they face. First seasons, then years, then entire generations have passed. The exploits of Chell and Daris and Tarnstrom and Penton passed down through legend by the inhabitants of Vast Future, which has lived up to its name. The original survivors are long since departed, but their stories are kept alive by the refugees of Sorelia. Chell's bravery, Daris's compassion, Tarnstrom's loyalty, and Penton's ingenuity are guiding tenants in the spacefaring civilization they helped establish. Even now, Vast Future continues its course through deep space, uninterrupted. One day, the Sorelians dream the ship will land on a hospitable planet where they can rebuild their country and learn from the mistakes of their forebears. Okay. Vast credits. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I love this game. Um... There are things that were not perfect, but as you can see from the vast credits, the credits were not very vast. Um, this is a small indie project, an extremely stylized game that is intended to achieve a specific feeling and purpose, and it does that really well. It is extremely evocative of the time period it wants to do. The music is great. The graphics are great. Um, I like some of the little additional features they have, like the uh, ability to switch palettes, as far as that goes. The characters are okay. The story is okay. Like, oh, that's cruel. <laughs> um, anyway, like, I feel like, I feel like a lot of those pieces are things in indie RPGs that tend to not be as strong. And I don't mean that in a, like, like it is a thing that is hard to do. There's some of them that do it very well, but especially when you have limited staff and their main function is to create a game, I'm more concerned about the gameplay most of the time. As long as it's, I mean, it's not a bad story either. That's one of the bigger things here. It's simple. You know, there's actually some decent character arcs I feel like we needed a little bit more time to really get... Maybe that's a better way to put it. I felt like there were a lot of in-between steps in the story that weren't there. Like... Like, Chell going from I want money to not wanting money to understanding friendship. There was a lot of the first one and a lot of the second one, and I can understand why she would have learned that lesson. But I didn't see a lot of the middle ground or like a wishy-washy like relapse of some kind. I feel like that's what we needed is a few, a little bit in the middle where uh, Daris, same thing uh, with Daris being like, I am a robot. And then he gets told about the fact that he doesn't have emotions and he's like, ah, I'm just a killing machine. And then suddenly he's not. <laughs> and it's like, I feel like we missed a step in there. But those are nitpicks. The story is still fine. I just wish it had a little bit more. And that's honestly, like I said earlier in the video, that's the biggest thing with this game. Is this was a wonderful, enjoyable eight hours. I would play it for another eight. I wish that it had more side quests. I wish that it had um, more weapon augment options. I wish that the second half of the game was a little bit more spaced out. Um, 
uh, when I say side quest, we had like two or three things where we like got a chance to go do a side thing early on. And then it just never popped up again. And maybe it's, I, I feel like I talked to pretty much everybody. So I'm not sure if I just missed them or if I didn't backtrack to the right places at the right times. But like the super weapon ones, like the final weapons were like fine as side quests. But I do wish that there were like spots where you could talk to an NPC, get us like side quest that wasn't directly related. Uh, like we got, there was like one really early on that was like recover a doll that a guy lost. Um, I wish that there were more equipment options, like, oh, war gear options. I feel like there were too many explosives. There weren't enough that had uh, multi-targeting. There weren't enough that had uh, different energy types, uh, like electric, like ice. There was literally just the ice bullets. That was it. Um, yeah. All of that. I loved it all. Uh, the gameplay, especially, though. It was a puzzle. It, every fight, like, and... For, I feel like it was relatively easy. However, it was relatively easy because I figured out the puzzles. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like how RPGs work. Sometimes, once you figure out the puzzle well enough, it feels easy. And it definitely had that, but I was still concerned throughout this second half of the game at times. Not as much, but at times. Um, yeah. This is worth getting. I may play through this again at some point in the future. I don't necessarily think I will right now, but I might at some point. Um, yeah, it's a fun game. I really enjoyed it and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, our next game is going to be Pokemon Reborn, which should be a lot of fun. Uh, if you haven't uh, checked out the community tab, there should be a poll in there. Uh, where you can volunteer if you would like a Pokemon named after you. Um, I'm gonna be doing that as I go through the game. Uh, I don't know how far I'll be by the time this releases, but uh, check it out. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.